everybody t money back here with a new review for you guys and today the review is on as you see the two pack of spider-man homecoming yes it's another marvel time today and today's marvel time is on as you see here right now we are looking at the packaging um so let's get a better look at it um so here's the front oh of course something bad had to happen that just had to happen okay so we're set up so here's his home spider-man homecoming at the bottom has spider-man warning stuff spider iron man age stuff it says Legend Series right there. Then you got the Spider-Man and Iron Man figure. These are my first MCU Spider-Man and Iron Man figures in my collection. Get the road out of here. So here it shows the Iron Man and Spider-Man figure. Um, yeah. So, and then it has all this weird stuff out here. And, yeah. Pause to um, read that right now. Oh, okay. And I'll be back when I get the figures out of the packaging. So, hey guys, and yes, we got these figures out of the packaging, and oh my gosh, they are amazing. But as you see, they just both fell. Um. So, yeah, but these figures are just awesome. For my first MCU Spider-Man and Iron Man figures, these are amazing. Awesome. Nothing better I could choose. So, now, um, since we got the figures out, shall we look at the accessories? I think so. So, here is all the accessories right here, um, let's get on to Spider-Man's accessories first. So, he gets, Spider-Man gets these web wings, which, if I get the Spider-Man over here, oh, they have a port right there, get this, it's a little hard on the camera, looking for the camera to put it in, but. Boom! See there, and you put it on both sides. Let me get the other one. And yeah, you can have him flying. Um, like he does in the movie. I got the movie now, and I just can't wait to watch it. So yeah, this is a pretty bad pose, but you get you guys get the idea. So, and Spider-Man also gets... A winking head. This is awesome. I'm totally going to put this on my Spider-Man action figure that I have right here. Right here. Um, to demonstrate how that, this head goes on. Just take it off. Then. It's a little hard to do it on camera because everything's pretty stiff. I, I just... As you guys know and seen, took this out of the packaging, and boom, okay, so this is on, and yeah, this looks awesome to me, um, so yeah, there's Spider-Man, now for Iron Man's accessories, all he gets is this blaster, which is really nice, a uh, poor, it's a, see through blue here and it has some white right here and then you get the head where it doesn't have Tony Stark's head in it it's just all the control and everything and see you can see right there the bottom texture of it um yeah it's a little hard then you got the mask nice red and gold so yeah so that's all the accessories um and let's get on to Spider-Man. So here's Spider-Man. Um, so let's start off with the heads. I got onto the heads 
last time, or at least showed them. This is the Peter Parker Tom Holland head. Um, amazing head. This looks exactly like Tom Holland to me. You got the hair, which is just like a normal brown color. You got the brown eyelashes. And pretty sure those are brown eyes. So, yeah. There's that, and then the winking face. It's nice. Um, it looks like the wink's supposed to be a lot smaller, though. You know, but they made it bigger. I don't know why they did that, because it kind of looks weird. But I guess they realized it would be more movie accurate with having it like this. So, the figure... For its cobwebbing has a gray, which is sort of accurate. It's really just a black, but in pictures, it looks like a gray in the movie. Because the black isn't so, like, prominent like these lines here. So, yeah, you got the gray, which makes a little bit of gray shading. So, that's actually kind of nice. This head sculpt's actually really good. I got really nothing bad about the spider-man um but i'll get on to the bad part that i think's a little weird later so moving on to the arms you get the black thing that goes all the way through here it's all the way up through to the arm here and then it goes loops all the way back to the back goes for this arm and then goes down and got the black stripes right there and i do not have the civil war version that they first made of this spot kind of type of spider-man um i could just never find that anywhere i found it once but it was way too much it was like 50 dollars for three figures and i just really wanted spider-man so yeah um the spider logo on this figure is a lot more accurate than that figure though a lot so yeah, you got the gray shading slash cobwebbing design. Black goes down. And then you got like these web holders. You got it right here still. It has like a flat piece right there, so it doesn't look weird. Um, then you got the blue and the blue. The blue in real life is like a light blue, but on camera it looks dark, like a dark blue. But it's really not um, in real life. So then you got the web shooters right there. You got these red pegs, which is just a bummer. You got the red pegs over here, though. That's good. I wish they had it multicolored um, pegs, though, where they could do it. Blue here. Then you got the cobwebbing all the way down to the fist. And this guy does not come with interchangeable hands. Yeah, you got the... Web in hand. Same thing over here as on this side. Then it comes down to the blue pants. Um, and you get a dark blue lines in the pants. And the red does have texturing in it. And the pants have a little bit, too. So, yeah, you got the blue lines. You got the light blue, which on camera looks dark. Then you get the boots. The same gray on it you got the bl black outlining here that goes all the way down to here both sides and yeah and you got the gray shading sort of thing and then you got the same gray on the back then you got the spider logo with the end it in here and the only thing that I have wrong with this is that his legs pop off like it's like this was made out of a Build-A-Figure. Like, I have a Mantis Build-A-Figure um, that I'm not done making. I don't I don't have any other parts except for the torso. And it has these same ball joints. So, it's like... Oh, it's just weird because then it hasn't happened to me yet, but it, the legs might get loose. That will really hurt, because this is my favorite Spider-Man figure I have in my collection. So, yeah, now let's get on to 
the Iron Man. Hey guys, so I'm back with this Iron Man here. Um, and this is off the Civil War body mold. And I'm not going to go too into detail because if you have that fair, you know that's pretty disappointing with some articulation. But, and this review is pretty long. It's at 10 minutes and 39 seconds. So, yeah. The head, you get the white. In the eyes with the blue, light blue outlining. You get the normal gold face. And again. Oh. Okay. Wow, my camera just doesn't like me today. Red. Red all through here, here. Gold. Gold. Um. Gunmetal. Gunmetal. Gray. And gum gray here, gum gray over the arc reactor, but inside the arc reactor it's white with blue outlining, red all here with gold all the way around, gum metal there, red there, gum metal, gum metal, gum metal, gum metal, red, 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 red here with gold, you got some red with gold, 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 gold. And then got some gunmetal here. So, yeah, this is pretty much the Iron Man figure. And, um, I'll get into his articulation right now. If you hear any background noise, just ignore it. So, his head moves up that much, down, side to side. Not that much head pivot. Arm moves up that much, forward, bicep swivel, double joint. Elbows. Oh, really stiff. Um, hands move side to side, down, up, forward, back, crunch, side to side, and some pivot. That's really disappointing there. This is even more disappointing. Spring! Like, you move it out, and it just comes right back out. That's terrible. Forward, that much, terrible. Swivel up here, pretty good. Bends at the elbow, knee, I mean, good. Fooms down, foot moves down, up, and some ankle pivot. And now let's get into Spider-Man's articulation. So Spider-Man's articulation, his head moves up, down, side to side. And for the Peter Parker head. Oh, man. Oh, it doesn't move as much up, but it does move same down, side to side. Arm moves up this much forward and ankle. Then up. Pivot here and why? There. So it has this pivot. Um, bicep swivel, double drop. Elbows. Um, arms move. The hands move down, up, side to side. And the crunch moves forward that much. That is just amazing. Back that much. Swivel at the waist. Out forward at the angle here. But it does move out that much. Um, rotate at the thigh. Double jointed knees. Foot moves down, up, and ankle pivot. And I am just going to show them with one comparison today because it's just oh so long of a review today and yeah so here's them together they're very accurate together and here's them next to the big time letdown spider-man so that's really accurate so yes these are the this is the spider-man and iron man homecoming two-pack really recommend Recommend it, comment, rate, share, and subscribe on my channel. And T Money out.